What's going on everybody? Let's start this off by preheating our oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Whilst the oven is preheating, place a small saucepan onto your stovetop, add in 280 grams of cubed unsalted butter, place onto a medium heat and allow the butter to completely melt. Once melted, remove it from the heat and let it cool down for roughly 10 minutes. On a baking tray lined with parchment paper, pour in 160 grams of walnuts or any nut of your choice. Spread them out so they're not overlapping and then we're going to roast them in our preheated oven for 6 minutes and this will give them a really nice enhanced flavour. Then after 6 minutes, allow the walnuts to cool down. In a large mixing bowl, add in 280 grams of light brown sugar and 110 grams of granulated white sugar. Combine them together and break up any sugar clumps. Pour in the cooled melted butter Then whisk the mixture until nice and smooth. Add in two whole free range eggs. Then mix them together until the mixture is pale and creamy. Then with three free range egg yolks, we're going to whisk them in one at a time, making sure that on the third yolk, the mixture is completely mixed together. Add in 270 grams of plain all-purpose flour and 230 grams of cake flour. If you can, really try to use this in the recipe. It has less protein than other flours, which will result in softer and more delicate cookies. Continue to whisk in the flours, making sure not to spill it all over the sides like I did. And once it starts coming together, switch to a spatula or a wooden spoon and continue mixing it until all of the flour is incorporated. Once mixed, add in half a teaspoon or six grams of baking soda. This will help the cookies rise and give them a nice chewy texture. Add in two teaspoons or eight grams of cornstarch. This will soften the proteins in the flour, making our cookies more tender. Add in one and a half teaspoons or five grams of sea salt flakes. This will give our cookies a mouth-watering bite. Add in 450 grams of dark chocolate, and this will make our cookies taste like chocolate. Nah, I'm just kidding. Just make sure to add in 450 grams of dark chocolate. Then we're going to crush the roasted walnuts in our hands until nice and small and add them in. Once you've got your mega loaded cookie dough, fold all of the ingredients together until fully combined. Wrap the bowl up nice and tight and place this in your fridge for one hour. The colder our cookie dough is, the taller and bigger we can make them. After one hour, weigh out each ball to 170 grams. And these are massive cookies, so if you want them smaller, weigh them out to 80 grams. Using your hands, roll these up into firm balls and place them onto a plate. Once they're all rolled out, we're just going to pop these back into the fridge for a further 30 minutes just to firm up as our warm hands would have removed the chill from them. Whilst the cookies are in the fridge for 30 minutes, preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius or 430 degrees Fahrenheit. And yes, we want the heat to be very hot. Line a baking tray with parchment paper, place on the cookie dough, and depending on how big your tray is, I'd recommend five being a good number for them not to be touching each other. Then we're going to bake these in our preheated oven for 13 minutes. Then seriously, just look at those. They will be extremely soft and may even feel raw, but they're definitely not. And that's what we're looking for. Extremely soft and gooey cookies. If you have one, place them onto a wire rack to cool down for about 30 minutes to allow the center to firm up slightly. Then we can break this apart and just look at that. It's so soft and so gooey with all of that oozing melted chocolate. I really have to give this a try. Seriously, all I can say is wow. That's literally the best chocolate cookie I've ever had. It's soft, it's chewy, it has a great crunch on the shell, then explodes in your mouth with melted chocolate and lightly toasted walnuts. I could not recommend these more seriously. This recipe makes 10 170 gram cookies or 20 80 gram cookies. These can be stored in an airtight container in a cool dark space for up to seven days. And they can also be placed in a microwave and slightly reheated to bring back that oozing chocolate. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing to see hundreds of fantastic recipes. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe and enjoy.